Okay, so we've covered the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, now PlayStation 3. Now we're doing the PlayStation 4 video games. Now, I just want to say that on one of my videos, I got a comment pretty much not understanding why my opinion and how basically telling me not to shove in people's faces are like heroes some more than other ones. Well, can I tell you something, little madam? Well, first of all, this use is now blocked, it is. Um, and secondly, it's my video. So if you don't like my opinion, if you don't like what games I think that should be on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and if you, and if you're not, and if you're, if you just don't understand me, then just leave. I don't want you here if you, not, if you only leave comments like that. Those comments, to me, are negative. So I understand that the person that you're watching has feelings and the reason why I don't trust uh, pre-orders that much when it comes to PCs, dumbass. Um, as well, I try, I pre-ordered a Charlie XCX album. I got the two songs out of it, but at the time I never got the full album. So I wasted my money on that, so I... Said to myself, I thought I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy it when it's when it's out. So that's why I don't trust pre-orders on PCs. So yeah, you guys make me angry sometimes. Anyway, I'll, on to the happy points today. We're going to have a look at my top five favorite PlayStation 4 video games. Enjoy. <laughs> I played this game so many times before I had to delete it off my um, PlayStation 4 to get other games to work. Batman Arkham Knight. This game is one of the best Arkham, best Arkham games in the Rocksteady series ever to be made because you get to not play as evil, good characters but also evil characters. Some DLC but it feels all amazing and it's also sad to see that we haven't heard that much from a new Arkham game to be released now I don't think we're going to get anything this year if we're lucky enough to get something next year or maybe in year 2020 or is the Arkham series now dead and we may not get something in a long time I might make a video about that another day but Arkham Knight is a very good game the the um, approach of Batman is also different and also there's um, more. You get to explore the whole of Gotham with different references to Superman, Green Lantern and also um, much, much more. And also Robin, Nightwing, um, Asriel, Catwoman, Red Hood, Harley Quinn and um, other characters are also played for us. There's oh, and Bad Girl, and some of them are DLC. There's so much I could say, but I love this game so much. But remember, all of the games I on this list I love quite a lot. Probably, except for the one I would say I love. There's one on this list that I loved a lot, but I like a lot, but not I like, but not like. Number four, Star Wars Battlefront. Now, you can definitely say that I would definitely be buying Star Wars Battlefront 2. No, not the pre-order, because goddamn expensive. It's like the same thing of what Injustice 2 did. Um, so anyway, so Star Wars Battlefront is a game that didn't do well, but also did well in the sense that they brought back to the field. And now I know they're making Battlefront 2 better. But this game I've played quite a lot on the Addis Games channel. And it's just something like if you've got a channel, you need to release something. And you want to play something that's not too complicated, go ahead and play this one. Now there are not many characters as of the DLC ASX. <sighs> it's expensive. But 
Um, there are some free options out there for you. In this, you can play as either good or evil Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, the Emperor, Han Solo, or as DLC, some two characters from World War One, and much, much more. There's a there's a offline mode where you can play offline instead of paying money to actually play online, and there's other stuff, but it's short. That they've got DLC, but I quite like this game. A lot of the graphics look nice, and even though it's not the best, I like it, it's my opinion. Get off my channel if you don't like it. Now, please preference me when I say this is the one I don't really uh, I like, but I don't like. Well, number three is Skylanders Imaginators. Now, this one, the only reason why I like it, because of Crash Bandicoot. And because Spyro is also in this game, and also you are able to play as Cortex also. Now, the only reason why I bought this is because of Crash. If Crash was never going to come to Skylanders, I probably never would have actually bought this game in the first place. But considering that it is in the game, and also Aku Aku and Aku Aku make an appearance and there's no Coco, which I totally forgot when I bought, for, bought this, um, it's a good game. And I would recommend this game. But I, the only Skyland games I would actually recommend will be Skylanders, the first one, and this one. The first one being Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, and this one being Skylanders Imaginators. Speaking of Crash Bandicoot, number two is Crash Bandicoot the Intentricity. Now, I like this game a lot because this is kind of like the first time Crash Bandicoot is actually on PlayStation 4. Well, second time, but with its own remastered game as of 1, 2, 3, you're able to play as Crash but also as Coco. Everything is the same, but the game has been triggered to be much more harder as Stormy Ascent the DLC is also there for Crash 1, you, and you also play as Bird's Breath as Crash with Coco. The levels have been improved, the graphics are much more better and it feels amazing. Most of the glitches are still there, some of them are gone and also people are speculating with a Spyro hint to be in this game and also at the end credits saying that no bandicoots were hurt, same thing with that Spyro 1's message showing the credits that no sheep were hurt, coincidence, and also a little code that someone did put in and it the, the cursor, the text went, the, the white went basically for some time. And people are speculating that one day if you do that again, you get a Spyro demo. And that would be really fantastic, but yeah, again, I don't know how they're going to do that because usually when they do that type of stuff, updates maybe? I, I, it's something that they're going to have to think of, but I do feel like Spyro will come back. But the Crash Bandicoot Intensity has updated tunes, which are some I like and some I don't. And yeah, I like this game quite a lot. I miss playing it. I've been playing Uncharted 4 for quite a while. Speaking of Uncharted 4, number one is Uncharted 4. Now I've already done a video about this one as of the top five things I love in Uncharted 4. And I'm going to express them here now. I was going to put the Nathan Drake collection on this list, but I haven't really played through much of it and I haven't really put up gameplays, which one day I will do. But this game is basically the final chapter for Nathan Drake and Elena, and also the final time that you would see Sully in this is also. Um, within the Lost Legacy, as of being the, the main two people in the Dean was from this game, and Chloe also being from the other games also. Now, Uncharted 4 was a game where you play as Nathan and you just, some you, you go through a phase where you first, at the chapter one, there's young Nathan, you have a look at young Samuel, and then also play as a younger, but grown up version of Nathan in prison, and then you play as Nathan again, in a normal life, you also get to play as Crash Bandicoot, yes I said that why. Crash Bandicoot, including tons of Crash Bandicoot uh, references and also Easter eggs in there. There's also a little level from Crash 1 that was in here, so that's how you like to play it. Twice, at the start of the game and at the very end of the 
the game. Now there's much more I would say about this as of the gun combat is fantastic, the fighting is okay, the graphics is amazing, the storyline is good, you get emotionally attacked to Nathan and how the story goes and you feel sorry for the young kid when he's in the orphanage. <laughs> um, yes. And um, and how the characters are and how sometimes you get to have funny times and every time that you turn the game off you want to do something else, you're always thinking about it and you want to do it and this is why like when I first played it I couldn't stop. I wanted to finish this game and then I could actually move on to better things. This is why I like Uncharted 4 than the other games. Maybe when I play them, yeah, but Uncharted 1 at the moment, I feel like it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the right gameplay. Like, when you're jumping to object to object, it's easy to die straight away. There's a lot of quick time effect. The gun combat is not that great also. Um, I'm guessing they've come a long way. And also some of the things from Uncharted 4 will be in The Lost Legacy. I love that and I'm definitely buying that. Even though it's going to destroy my PlayStation 4 memories of whatever. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think I might do a part 2 to what games that should be on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One so I can piss more people off. Anyway, uh, click here or click here to see some other stuff. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm hoping by then that big last video on the XTV fan channel, or if it's actually called that anymore, um, should be out. So I guess go and check that out on the uh, no card. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay good. Editors, have a fantastic day and go and pre-order the last legacy if you're 16. Trust me, you will enjoy it.